All right, so maybe I don't have all good news uh, here, but uh, that is likely what will happen here this summer. So maybe utilize our time now to prepare for what could be a little more activity as far as the wildfire season goes. Hey, some blue sky in Helena. Back to the good news. 55 degrees in the capital. And yeah, look at that. Blue sky above uh, Great Falls here. 51 degrees. Uh, Sunshine couldn't really warm things up that much. Still in the upper 40s around Lewistown, Dillon and Buttes. A little chilly and cold enough for even some snow into the higher terrain of southwestern Montana. Great Falls dry, maybe a couple of showers trying to sneak up into southern Cascade County earlier right along the Smith River around Helena. A couple little sprinkles or flurries into the higher terrain around town, but a much drier day than yesterday. One area of low pressure, look at all that rain and uh, snow into parts of Colorado. They're doing really well over the last month or so as far as precipitation goes. And another little spin in the atmosphere moving through Idaho. And that low pressure will continue to pull away from the state as we go through tonight into tomorrow. But there's always another low pressure here. That's what keeps me in a job. And uh, there you can see a couple of showers and thunderstorms elsewhere around the country, up into southeast Canada as well. A couple of flakes of snow north of uh, Lake uh, Superior and Lake Huron. Uh, speaking of flakes of snow, the Beartooths, the Absorcas uh, out there around the Big Hole Valley also picking up a few flakes of snow. But for the most part, the precipitation shuts off here. Uh, briefly through the overnight hours. A uh, nice starry night for a lot of areas and then heading into tomorrow, another little disturbance coming down from British Columbia will kick off scattered showers and maybe even a few isolated thunderstorms here around East Glacier out through Cup Bank and uh, working its way mainly north of Great Falls, but even in Great Falls we could have a couple of showers come through tomorrow afternoon. Helena, a few isolated showers around town. That disturbance will move into eastern Montana here for Wednesday. So maybe another chance at a few showers by noontime into the afternoon here in eastern, far eastern Montana. And look at the cloud cover increasing in the western part of the state through Idaho. We could have a few rain showers moving in later on Wednesday in the western part of the state. Here's the forecast for tonight. A little chilly, still some lows dropping down below the freezing point here. So uh, if you recently planted that garden of vegetables and uh, some flowers, you might want to cover them up if you can or bring them inside. Here's the forecast for tomorrow after a chilly start. Once again, a few scattered showers and mainly uh, an isolated thunderstorm or two up here north of Great Falls coming down off of the Rocky Mountain front, but uh, still a little cool. High temperatures should be in the mid to upper 60s for most of the state. There you can see the numbers in the 50s to the lower 60s. Wednesday, one disturbance moving through eastern Montana with a couple of showers potentially out around Glasgow and Glendive. And then here comes the next system. Moving in Wednesday afternoon, increasing some clouds and some showers closer to the Continental Divide by later in the day. For Thursday, that disturbance traverses the state and will start to warm things up. A few 70s uh, out there under partly cloudy skies. Friday, maybe a step back with another disturbance coming through. Highs back down into the upper 50s and the 60s with scattered showers and thunderstorms. But the weekend does look warmer and drier here. If you're heading up into the mountains this weekend, there will be a chance for some showers both Saturday and Sunday, but really that looks pretty nice here. And it's also nice to see additional moisture over the next couple of days. Great Falls, especially north of town, a couple of scattered showers and thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon, Wednesday night into Thursday morning, then again Friday, but it looks mainly dry this weekend.